Hi, it's Vicky from Connie Systems Technical Support, and I am on a PC. This is an XP uh, uh, home computer. I'm going to show you how to download a driver using the Rico site, should you have to. Also, installing the driver and setting it up, configuring it with the ICC profile that we have here at Condi. So, um, in order to do that, um, you must first download the driver. And to download the driver, you want to go to uh, the Rico. Uh, rico.com and that's going to bring you to a page where you see um, this selection right here it says Americans you can click Americans that's going to open a new page and from there you're going to choose your driver so you're going to go to printers you can use gel sprinter which is what you have and then you're going to choose your model and in here as you can see all all of the models that we sell here at Condi to 3110 DN 7700 and the 3300 and the 7000 is all in this list so we're going to start with the 7700 that's going to bring this little dialog box to my right up where I can choose the driver and from here it's going to ask me a question uh, about finding my driver so I'm going to jump down I have a 32-bit XP so I'm going to click that and in here I'm going to find my 32-bit XP. Again, if you have a 64-bit Windows 7 or Vista or something other than what I have, you're going to find it in this list as well. And to download the driver, mine being a 32-bit XP, we're going to use the RPCS Raster Driver, Microsoft XP, as you can see. And we're going to come over here where the little drop-down arrow is, and that's our download. So again, you can see that there's Mac and 64-bit uh, drivers as well. Okay, so uh, keep in mind you're going to select yours. I'm choosing this one, and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it in this space here where I've created on my desktop. If I click my desktop and right-click here, I can make a new folder to put it in, and we'll call this um, 7700. Rico. Okay, and I'm going to put Condi on the end of that so we know it's uh, our Condi setup. And just open the folder and then save it. And your file will begin to download. Uh, to get your ICC profile, you have to email Condi Systems, and um, that sends a profile to your um, to your mailbox. Uh, via email and you can get your uh, profile that way so you have to send an email to support at condi.com and what that does is that notifies us to pull your account and what we want to do is make sure that uh, in your account what products you have what you've purchased so that we can better um, decide what files you need uh, we wouldn't want to send you the wrong files so pulling your file helps us to identify what products you have purchased and what files you will need to have sent to you. So uh, make sure you send that email over to us so we can uh, get your ICC profile. You will not find it on uh, the Condi webpage, so um, you, you would have to uh, email the profile, uh, email for the profile. So make sure you do that. And we're just going to wait for this file to download. And once it's downloaded, once it's downloaded, we can actually open the folder. And in here, you see the zip file. can open and run and we're going to actually drop it back into this folder so this right here goes to your make sure you notice where this is going to this is going to your C temp uh, drive so we're going to browse and I'm going to bring it over to my desktop and I do know that I have a driver in here a place of a folder I made there's my folder I'm going to open that folder 
and drop it in there. And as you can see, it just uh, filled the folder full of the uh, contents that was in that zip file. And now I'm ready to uh, run the driver and um, add it to my PC in my printer folder. Accept the agreement, next. And I'm going to use USB. I'm not going to plug it up yet, but it's asking me what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use USB and then I'm going to click next And now what it's looking for is us to add the, um, to plug up the cable. Once we plug up the cable, it should find the, the driver and start adding it. So uh, if you have a USB cable at this time, you want to make sure that you plug it in directly into the back port of your PC, not a hub, not a front port. And you also want to make sure that uh, the, the power is turned on and that your uh, printer is charged with the uh, appropriate ink. So um, once that's done and you've plugged it up, it should automatically pick up the driver. And if not, then um, we can uh, bypass it and just do a manual uh, configuration of the port, which I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to wait for it to time out. And once it times out, we can um, finish the install. Okay, so now what you want to do is get to your email, which I have mine open. I just went ahead and opened mine. Um, because in your email is where you're going to find your profile. So I went ahead and emailed to myself the profile. I'm going to click the download button and I'm going to save it. And I'd like to save it in the same folder that I saved my driver. So I'm going to do that. As you can see, uh, if you don't if it doesn't open right away, you just click desktop and then jump down to where that folder is, double click on it. And as you can see, the profile's right here. That's the name of it. We're going to click save. And um, we can open the folder. Let's close this and minimize it. And um, so now we're going to get to that profile real quick. So to order, I'm sorry, to save the profile to, to your PC so that it will be there when we open the program and start configuring our settings. We want to right click on it and then left click on install profile. So as you can see I'm in the, in the folder in which I saved it to. I right clicked and I left clicked on install profile. Don't do it twice, only do it once. If you do it twice it will sometimes uninstall so we don't want that to happen. Once you've clicked the install you will not see anything happen. It installs really fast just uh, be assured that it is installed um, and we're done with the part of the installation. Now as far as the uh, ICC profile, that's, it's just that easy. Now what I want to do, I've still got this driver going, so I'm going to say stop auto detecting and then I'm going to click next. I'm going to go ahead and let it install the driver without configuring the port correctly, which is fine. Driver's going to install. And 
this is our status monitor. Everything defaults the way we want it, so just click Next. And uh, no, we're not going to restart now. We'll restart later, so just click Finish. And now we're ready to go to our printer folder, so you can click the Start. Left click on Printers and Faxes, or Devices and Printers. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go configure my port. So again, if I right click on the icon of the printer, which is the 7700, and I left click on Properties. If you're in Windows 7, you're going to click on Printer Properties, not Properties. And here I can configure my port for USB. And you should have a USB port in here. If not, you would uh, add the port. So, configure for USB, which I'll change that one out. And typically you'll see something in here that says USB, and then you'll apply the setting. And that's how it works. If not, you'll add the port, you'll add a USB port by clicking uh, Add Port or Configure Port. Okay? Once you've uh, clicked one of your USB settings, you can click Apply and OK. I know my USB setting does not need to be configured, so I'm just going to click, uh, actually I'm just going to click off over here to color management. Okay, now I've installed the uh, ICC profile, I've configured the port for USB. What I want to do now is to add my profile. So I'm going to click on color management, manual, add, and in here I'm going to find my 7700 profile that I had a uh, downloaded and installed to my driver, I mean to my hard drive. Where the fuck is it? And there it is right there. So I'm going to click Add. And what you're going to see is it's going to add into this box here. And once it's added into the box, you can apply it. Go to your advanced setting. Click on the start printing after last page is spooled. You can apply that. Go to your general tab. Printing preferences. Here if you had a bypass tray you would you would check that box. Uh, which I do so I'm going to click OK. It's going to take me to the next page. And in here, I'm going to create a saved setting using uh, my ICC profile and uh, changing some settings in the driver. This is your, under your this is under your printing preferences, plain paper. Again, you should drop down if you've added the bypass tray. You'll see it there. User settings. Click change. And under um, image adjustment, you're going to check use error diffusion, color settings, you're going to turn that off. Then you're going to click on the miscellaneous tab to the far right, check print as bitmap, and then click OK. That takes you back out of your change box. Go over here to printer configuration, deselect the reduce automatically so it doesn't reduce your paper size. If you're a 32-bit, uh, if you have a 32-bit PC, you're going to choose uh, spool format to be RAW. Go back to your setup. We're going to save this as Condi ICC. And we're going to click OK. Apply and OK. And OK all the way out. Back to your desktop. And that's how you configure the 7700 driver. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you how to add a 13 by 19 paper size for 
a bypass tray. If you have the bypass tray, you're going to want to know how to do this as well. And we're going to include that in part of this video as your setup. So uh, just to show you how to go back in and um, into your printer folder, you're going to click on the start. You're going to left click on printers and faxes or devices and printers. You're going to right click. We're going to go to printing preferences. We're going to go to printer configuration. And we're going to create a custom paper size. You're going to drop down. You're going to choose your bypass tray. If you don't choose the bypass tray, your limitations will not be 13 by 19. It'll only go as big as the uh, tray one size. So make sure your paper source is on bypass tray or it will not allow you to go up to a 13 by 19 custom paper size. We're going to change this by name. We're going to call it a 13 by 19. And that's going to be our name save setting. Our long edge, of course, is 19. Press your tab and you can enter 13 um, without having to add the zero zeros. So 19, 13. And then click OK. And where you should see this paper size now is under your page settings. If you drop down, use your little um, bar over here to the right. You can choose 13 by 19 now, and you'll see it add here. Um, and that's how you choose your paper size. And we can change it back as well. Go back to the setup, drop down, choose the Condi ICC. If you want only your bypass tray to run, meaning you want to only use 13 by 19 paper size. What you can do is change this to bypass tray and we create a save setting that says Condi ICC bypass and we click OK, go to our paper setting, drop down and find our 13 by 19. Again, let's just double check this. By clicking on it. Now I have my uh, configuration for my driver to only run bypass tray and uh, with the 13 by 19 paper size. But you can run the bypass tray with any paper size as long as you select it in the paper setting and your document size is created that way as well. So again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems and this is how you can configure your 7700 RICO uh, driver for ICC profile and this would work with a 33 and your 7000 as well and a 5050 if you have one of those. So again, uh, this is Vicki with Condi and thank you for your time.